In this script, we will be counting down the 10 fastest actors with a gun in Western history. These actors have showcased their skills and speed in numerous Western films, leaving audiences in awe. We will be looking at some of the most iconic scenes and discussing why these actors stand out in the world of Westerns. So let's get started and find out who made it to the top of our list. Sammy Davis Jr. was a highly talented entertainer known for his impressive skills in various areas of the entertainment industry. Although he is often remembered for his contributions to music and dance, he also showcased his talent with firearms, particularly in westerns. In fact, when it came to gun skills in Hollywood, Sammy Davis Jr. ranked second only to Jerry Lewis. This is no small feat, considering the number of actors who have appeared in western films over the years. Davis Jr.'s talent with firearms was on display in several western productions, including the film Sergeants 3 and the television series The Rifleman. These roles allowed him to demonstrate his proficiency with guns, further cementing his status as a multi-talented entertainer. It's worth noting that Sammy Davis Jr.'s skill with firearms was just one aspect of his larger-than-life persona. He was a charismatic performer who excelled in every medium he tackled, from music and dance to film and television. Despite the many accolades he received throughout his career, Sammy Davis Jr. remained humble and dedicated to his craft. He continued to push himself creatively, exploring new genres and styles with each passing year. In short, Sammy Davis Jr. was an incredibly talented actor and entertainer who showcased impressive gun skills in several Western productions. He remains an enduring figure in the world of Hollywood, and his legacy continues to resonate with audiences to this day. Lee Van Cleef is an actor who gained fame for his roles as the villain in Western films. After a successful career in the 1950s, his career took a downward turn in the 1960s. However, his career was reignited after he appeared in the 1965 film For a Few Dollars More directed by Sergio Leone. In For a Few Dollars More, Van Cleef played the role of Colonel Douglas Mortimer, a bounty hunter who teams up with another bounty hunter, played by Clint Eastwood. The film was a massive success in Europe, and the US and Van Cleef's performance was highly praised. Van Cleef's portrayal of the villain in Western films was unique and captivating. His piercing eyes, chiseled jawline, and distinctive facial features made him an ideal candidate to play the bad guy. He had a commanding presence on screen, and his performances were always intense and memorable. After For a Few Dollars More, Van Cleef went on to appear in several more Western films, including The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, Day of Anger, and Death Rides a Horse. His career in Western films spanned over three decades, and he became one of the most recognizable faces in the genre. In conclusion, Lee Van Cleef was an actor known for his roles as the villain in Western films. After a career resurgence in the mid-1960s, he became one of the most iconic actors in the genre, captivating audiences in Europe and the US with his intense and memorable performances. Audie Murphy, a name synonymous with bravery and marksmanship, was not only a highly decorated war hero, but also a talented actor. His exceptional gun skills were not just for the silver screen, but something he had demonstrated time and again in real combat situations during World War II. Born in 1925 in Texas, Murphy enlisted in the military at the age of 18. By the end of the war, he had become one of the most decorated soldiers in American history. His heroic acts included single-handedly holding off an entire company of German soldiers, for which he was awarded the Medal of Honor. His expert marksmanship was crucial in many of his battlefield victories. When he returned home, Murphy transitioned into acting, often starring in Western films. In movies like Night Passage and The Unforgiven, he showcased his impressive gun skills, which were both realistic and captivating. His performances were marked by authenticity thanks to his extensive experience with firearms. Murphy's skill with a gun was not limited to the battlefield or movie sets. He was also an expert marksman in his personal life, often competing in shooting competitions. His love for firearms and his natural talent for handling them were evident in all aspects of his life. In summary, Audie Murphy was a true legend when it came to gun skills, both on and off the screen. His bravery and expertise in handling firearms were unparalleled, and his legacy continues to inspire and captivate audiences to this day. Alan Ladd, often called Tiny in his early years due to his small stature, was an unlikely candidate for a successful acting career in westerns. However, he proved his doubters wrong and became one of the fastest actors with a gun in western history. Initially, Ladd gained recognition in sports, but he later shifted his focus to acting. He started his career in film noirs, where he honed his skills as an actor. 
His talent for portraying complex characters with depth and nuance quickly caught the attention of audiences and critics alike. When Ladd transitioned to westerns, he brought with him a level of intensity and precision that made him a standout performer. His mentorship with Rod Redwing, a Native American stuntman and actor, further enhanced his shooting skills, making him a formidable presence on screen. Ladd's performances in westerns were marked by his quick draw and accurate aim, which added a level of excitement and tension to his scenes. His ability to convincingly portray a skilled gunslinger was a significant factor in his success in the genre. In addition to his acting abilities and shooting skills, Ladd's charisma and strong screen presence made him a fan favorite. He had a unique ability to connect with audiences and convey emotion through his performances, which added depth and complexity to his characters. In summary, Alan Ladd, known as Tiny in his early years, was a talented actor who excelled in film noirs and westerns. His mentorship with Rod Redwing enhanced his shooting skills, making him one of the fastest actors with a gun in western history. Ladd's charisma, strong screen presence, and ability to convey emotion through his performances made him a fan favorite and a standout performer in the genre. Glenn Ford, a Canadian-American actor, made a significant impact in Hollywood's golden age, particularly in the western genre. Ford's collaborations with Rod Redwing in western films showcased his exceptional talent and ease with firearms. One of Ford's most memorable roles was in 310 to Yuma, where he portrayed a struggling rancher who takes on the dangerous task of escorting a notorious outlaw to jail. His character's determination and grit were compelling, and his skill with a gun was undeniable. In addition to 310 to Yuma, Ford also starred in The Rounders, another classic western film. In this movie, he played alongside Henry Fonda, and the two actors' chemistry was undeniable. Ford's character was a charming, quick-witted cowboy who could handle himself in any situation, especially when it came to using a gun. Ford's talent and natural charisma made him a standout in the western genre. His ability to convincingly portray tough, capable characters who were also relatable and likable earned him a place in film history. His collaborations with Rod Redwing showcased his skill with firearms and added an exciting element to his performances. In summary, Glenn Ford was a talented actor who excelled in westerns during Hollywood's golden age. His collaborations with Rod Redwing and his performances in films like 310 to Yuma and The Rounders solidified his place as one of the fastest actors with a gun in western history. Jerry Lewis, born on March 16, 1926, is widely known for his comedy work alongside Dean Martin. The duo formed a legendary partnership, entertaining audiences with their unique brand of humor. While they were primarily known for their comedic roles, they did venture into westerns on occasion. One such western was Sons of the Ranch Partner, where Lewis and Martin showcased their comedic timing in a different setting. Despite their success in the genre, they primarily focused on comedy, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. As their partnership came to an end, Lewis continued to act in various films and TV shows throughout his career. He made smaller on-screen appearances in westerns and other genres, showcasing his versatility as an actor. In addition to his work as an actor, Lewis was also a talented singer, director, and producer. He directed and starred in several successful films, further solidifying his status as a Hollywood icon. Throughout his long and successful career, Jerry Lewis has left an indelible mark on the entertainment industry. His contributions as an actor, singer, director, and producer have resonated with audiences around the world. In conclusion, while Jerry Lewis may not be the first actor who comes to mind when thinking of westerns, his work alongside Dean Martin and Sons of the Ranch Partner and his later career appearances in the genre showcase his versatility and talent as an actor. He will always be remembered for his unique brand of humor and his contributions to the entertainment industry. Gene Wilder, an accomplished actor, is best known for his role in the 1974 film Blazing Saddles. In this comedic western, Wilder's character, Jim, displays lightning quickness with a gun, surprising many viewers. Wilder's skill with a firearm was not just for show. During the filming of Blazing Saddles, Wilder took the time to share his knowledge and pointers with fellow actor Cleveland Little, who played the character of Charlie. Little, who was new to acting and filmmaking, greatly appreciated Wilder's guidance and support. Despite his quickness and expertise with a gun in Blazing Saddles, Wilder was primarily known for his comedic roles and his ability to bring humor and lightness to any character he played. However, his skill with a gun in this film is just one example of his versatility and range as an actor.
Overall, Gene Wilder's performance in Blazing Saddles is a standout example of his talent and quickness with a gun in Western history. His guidance and support of his fellow actors on set, such as Cleveland Little, further highlights his professionalism and dedication to his craft. Kirk Douglas, a legendary actor in Hollywood, is well known for his serious roles, especially in classic Western films. He gained fame for his proficiency with a gun and his ability to convincingly portray tough and rugged characters. In his long and illustrious career, Douglas starred in several Western films that have become classics of the genre. Two of his most notable roles in Westerns are in Gunfight at the OK Corral and The War Wag. In Gunfight at the OK Corral, Douglas played the role of Doc Holliday, a gambler and dentist who becomes a deputy marshal to help his friend Wyatt Earp. The film is based on the true story of the famous gunfight at the OK Corral in Tombstone, Arizona. Douglas's portrayal of Doc Holliday is considered one of his most iconic roles, and he brought a sense of gravitas and intensity to the character. In The War Wagon, Douglas starred alongside John Wayne as a pair of outlaws who team up to steal a shipment of gold from a heavily fortified stagecoach. Douglas played the role of Ta Jackson, a Comanche Native American who has a personal vendetta against the man who stole his land and killed his family. Douglas's character is an expert marksman, and he uses his skills with a gun to great effect in the film's exciting climax. Douglas's proficiency with a gun and his ability to embody tough and rugged characters made him a natural fit for Westerns. He brought a level of intensity and realism to his roles that helped to elevate the genre and make his films enduring classics. Even today, Douglas remains one of the most beloved and respected actors in Hollywood history, and his contributions to the Western genre will not be forgotten.